Well, howdy, prostate cancer guys and survivors and those of you still in your in your process. Uh, how's it going? So I just wanted to talk a little bit about my particular uh, prostate cancer. I... I have a Gleason score of 7, and that's a Gleason 4 plus 3 equals 7. There's, you can get a Gleason 3 plus 4 or 4 plus 3. My particular was a little higher uh, level grade 7 uh, Gleason than, than a 3 plus 4 because I had more of the 4 level cancer in my prostate than I did the 3 uh, in most of the biopsies. Um, I was diagnosed back in May and I requested after, well, I wasn't diagnosed. I was before that they did some PSA tests on me starting back, uh, last January. And, uh, because I had a kidney stone, so they, let's do some PSA tests. And then I had three in a row. They were all around between, you know, just under six to seven. Uh, so they wanted to do some biopsies. And so I requested, and I suggest that those of you who uh, are told that they want to do biopsies, they do these biopsies kind of blind. So my advice is to request an MRI prior to having these biopsies. It gives them if there is something in there, it gives them something to target. Uh, in my case, um, I was approved for that, and they they did the MRI, and they found two spots, which gave them good targets. I had 19 instead of the the usual is 12, 12 biopsies. They do them with a long needle. They insert them into your prostate uh, rectally. Uh, they have a little tube that goes in there and the needle comes out and it pokes 12 holes in and randomly and then they take their samples out to the lab and all that and they test those samples for the amount of cancer or not cancer in the in the actual sample the percentage of the sample that was cancer and what type and what uh, grade cancer it is uh, with prostate cancer that that grade uh, is one through five, but it's only really three th through five that uh, states cancer. The rest is just uh, benign uh, tissue. Uh, so if you came back with you know twos, you'd be fine. They'd send you on your way. No cancer for you. If you came back with three plus threes, they probably put you on an active surveillance. That's just a very mild form. Anyway, so on my MRI prior to my biopsies, they found two spots, a pretty significant spot on the left side and a smaller spot on the right side. So with that knowledge, I was scheduled for biopsies. They did 19 biopsies because they had some some uh, key areas that they, you know, because of these, um, because of the MRI, they had some key areas that they wanted to test. Um, I had 19 biopsies. 18 were positive for cancer. I was pretty hard to take in. Um, and the, the grade, the, the 4 plus 3 being the worst. Uh, I, had, I had some 3 plus 3 on the right side in the smaller tumor. Uh, but I also had some, some 4 plus 3 over there as well. Um, uh, on the left side, pretty much all four plus three, and the tumor was twenty four is twenty four millimeters by about nine millimeters wide. So it's a, it, my prostate's only twenty six millimeters across. So that's most of the length, or from front to back, and then you know about half. So pretty much the whole left side of my prostate is cancer. So then uh, the 18 were all positive. Uh, 
on the left side, you have these nerve bundles. So when the cancer gets into these nerve bundles, they call that perineural invasion. So I had that on the left side, uh, the one biopsy that came back from the left side in that area was 92% of the uh, sample was cancer and it was four plus three and it was well involved in the nerve there. So I had some CT scans and I had a bone scan done. They wanted to see if it had metastasized. Uh, as far as they can see, it has not. Um, there is some fear because of the paraneural involvement that there may be some microscopic metastasis, but uh, what they're hoping is radical prostatectomy will remove the cancer, and if there's any microscopic cancer in my body, uh, my immune system will take care of it before it settles in, I guess, so to speak. Uh, that's the hope. So far, they're convinced that they can get all of this um, by taking my prostate out. Man, I, I don't really not really not ready for surgery, but I'm signed up to go December 12th. So after the after those biopsies and talking to my urologist, then being referred to a urologist surgeon, an oncologist. Uh, he recommended, as well as the urologist, that I, I get surgery. So I asked, you know, for some time, and he said, you know, I wouldn't wait more than three or four months after this um, to start getting some treatment. So I went and I saw a radiation oncologist, and he told me that due to my urinary issues and stuff that I should get surgery as well. So that was disheartening. I, I was really hoping to not go under the knife. So then I went to yet another doctor. I went to a doctor not in this state, to a, uh, someone who didn't have any skin in the game, any dog in the fight, so to speak. Um, and it was another radiation oncologist that does a high dose radiation where they give you gold markers they implant into your prostate they give you one day of high dose radiation with with brachy seeds that are temporary they're removed that day then you go in for five weeks of external beam radiation that's what they use the gold markers to target the prostate with unfortunately because of the volume of my cancer and uh, my urinary issues, um, he recommended surgery as well, and that was kind of tough. So even hearing that, I was going to do that radiation, and I, the day that I was going to go tell my surgeon that, you know, I did cancel my original surgery of October 10th of this year, and now I'm signed up for December 12th. So uh, the day that I was going to tell them that I wanted this radiation, the doctor from the other state called me. He was a really great guy. He called me up and he said, look, I, I know you're thinking about doing this radiation, but I still want to reiterate my, my same stance that day was when you saw me was to get that I, I believe that surgery was the way to go for you. So after hearing that, that just pulled all the wind out of my sails. I, I went, saw the surgeon, Signed up for surgery on the 12th and uh, fell into a weird funk. Had some, I was having some trouble uh, with some interpersonal stuff at a job that I recently lost. And uh, I had some panic attacks and stuff like that. Um, some depression and anxiety and just a whole roller coaster of things and uh, emotional stuff. Um, I I do have some more advice. Uh, don't uh, don't overwhelm your loved ones with that kind of stuff uh, because that caused me a lot of stress and anxiety too. And and this is a time where you need to get your head about you. And and mine definitely has not been. So. 
Uh, that's just a little talk about what kind of, what my cancer is, you know, what, what stage, what grade it is. Um, I'm 56 years old. It looks like I'm a pretty good candidate for this surgery. I, I'm scared as heck. I don't want the erectile dysfunction. I don't want the urinary problems. Hopefully, you know, I can get through that and be around. I got little kids, um, 14 and 6. Hopefully I'll be around for, uh, you know, for them. I, I, I'm i a pretty active guy. I do a lot of stuff, and I really, whew, yeah, really like to be around for them. So uh, those of you out there that are facing this intermediate 4 plus 3 perineural invasion, uh, Gleason score of 7, um, and you know are told that surgery is the way out for you you know do definitely try to find some other options the reason surgery wasn't for me is because I already have some urinary issues with uh, starting and stopping and stuff and uh, they think that the radiation or they know from their data that the radiation would cause me to have future issues with that 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 may not be um, could give me an even worse quality of life and may not be fixable once the radiation has surgery may not be an option after this this uh, radi radiation so there's that and when they remove the prostate, they'll be able to do a pathology report on it and find out if the cancer was worse than they thought or uh, not as bad. Uh, I hope for for neither. I, I hope it's what they thought it was, and they take it out, and it's out of me forever. If it's less, then I'm going to be pissed off because I want my prostate back. But you know, I don't know because. In other respects, it's still working, you know, if you know what I mean. And I'm not looking forward to losing that part of my life. So good luck out there. And uh, leave me some comments if you guys are in the same boat as me and let me know how it's going if you're just getting diagnosed or if you've already had the surgery and... and uh, let me know how it's going for you. And anyone else just watching this, welcome to my Prostate Cancer Now channel. Uh, I call it that because it's my apocalypse and I intend to come out on the other side a survivor. Have a great day.